Hello and welcome to The Joy of Code, Episode 2. My name is Michael Kölling and I will today talking talk about installing Greenfoot and in Java. So here I've got a browser window and the first thing we do to get started with Greenfoot is to go to the Greenfoot website which is at greenfoot.org. So we go to this website to download Greenfoot. Um, so today unfortunately still no programming yet. I want to go through things in sequence slowly so today we talk about installing the software first and then in the next episode we'll get started with doing some actual programming. So on the Greenfoot website we scroll down here is a section for the software. That is where we click to get the software. The first thing to pay attention to on the download page is the requirements. It tells you here that you need to have a Java system installed um, before you can install Greenfoot. So that's the first thing we need to do. Greenfoot requires either Java 6 or Java 7 to be installed. If you have Java 6 installed, that's fine. If you are installing a new Java system, it's always best to go for the latest one. Then we may as well in use and install Java 7. So the first thing you do is you download the JDK. Well, there's one exception. If you're running macOS, then you do not need to install the JDK. On macOS, JDK is either already installed for all the systems before Lion, and if you're running um, Lion, or 10.7 is the um, version number of macOS, then Java will be installed on demand the first time you try to start Greenfoot. So for all other systems, Linux systems, Windows systems, we click first on download the JDK. Um, pay attention to the name JDK. JDK stands for Java Development Kit. Java comes in two different versions. There is here on the Java download page. Um, you should install Java Platform Standard Edition. That is here at the top in this longish table. So stay at the top. And you see there are two versions. There's the JDK and the JRE. JRE is the Java Runtime Environment. You need this if you just want to run Java programs but not develop them yourself. Since we want to write our own program, we need the JDK, the Java Development Kit, which you need if you want to develop your own Java programs. So this is the version you want. Go for the latest version. In this case, at the time of recording this, it is Java 7, the latest version of the Java Platform Standard Edition, and go for the JDK. When you click Download, you will get to another page that shows you a lot of different versions for different operating systems. Um, and there in that table you have to pick the right version for your system. So for most of you this will be either Windows or Linux. Um, here the Oracle website is very very slow at the moment but here we're getting there. So in this table of different downloads for different versions you have to pick your system. Um, there are different Linux systems uh, you can get it as a tarball or as an RPM. And there are two different Windows versions. You have to figure out whether you're running a 32-bit or 64-bit Windows version. If you're running 32-bit, that's the Windows x86 version. Um, if you are running a 64-bit Windows system, download the 64-bit version here. So you download either one of those. First, you have to accept the license agreement, and then you um, click whichever version you need and download it. I don't I won't do that right now because first of all I'm running on macOS so I don't really need to download this and I have Java already installed. Um, once you download this the installation should be quite easy it's a standard installer so first you download this you install it on your system you go through a normal install wizard and then your JDK is installed. Once you have done that, go back to the Greenfoot download website and here now after um, installing your JDK, now you download and install the right version of Greenfoot. Again, there's a version for Windows, for macOS and there is um, two different versions for Linux. There is one uh, Debian, Ubuntu Debian based distribution, so that is the one you can use if you use 
Ubuntu or another Debian based um, system. Otherwise there is a pure Java version. This is a version you can install on any other system that is other Linux distributions or Solaris or other, other systems um, where you have Java installed. There's also a standalone version that is for Windows only. This is a version if you are running an environment where you cannot install software, for example in a in a lab in school where the system is locked down, then you can use this version and put it on a memory stick and run it straight off a memory stick without any installation at all. Okay, so I will go through this for Mac because I'm running on a Mac here. Um, so I'm going to do the Mac download and that starts my download down here. Notice for Mac um, you need to have at least Tiger, that is system 10.5 installed um, to run Greenfoot because um, earlier versions have no support for Java 6 and Greenfoot requires Java 6 at least or Java 7. So when you download this on a Mac you get a zip file which you can just double click um, to unzip it which gives you the folder um, that has all the Greenfoot um, bits inside it. On Windows it is a standard installer wizard that you install and you end up with a very similar folder. Um, there's one thing to note, um, there are some sample scenarios here, it's not many but there's a few in there. If you install into a location where you do not have, where users do not have write access, for example you install as an administrator um, into a directory where the normal user accounts do not have write access, the users should copy the scenario folder out to their own home directory where they have write access because to execute scenarios you need write access to um, the scenarios if you want to use those. Okay, the next thing we do then um, is to start Greenfoot by um, double clicking this on some systems if it's something is downloaded from the internet you get a warning like this um, and you say okay Greenfoot will start up on the first start, the very first time you start Greenfoot, you get um, this dialog that appears only once and it gives you the option of opening a tutorial. When you get this first time you could, if you want to open the tutorial and the tutorial scenario, and again it asks me whether I want to open something that I downloaded from the internet, this opens um, a tutorial in a web browser and the Wombat scenario. If you see this then you know everything is fine and the system is installed properly. Um, I will show you how to get started with this in the next episode of The Joy of Code, so we won't do that today. But if you want to, if you're impatient and you want to look ahead a bit, start playing around with this a bit. Um, that's all to tell you for a standard installation. The last thing to tell you is what to do if you have trouble. Um, sometimes people experience problems inst installing the system doesn't happen very often. Um, for well over 99% of people it goes quite smoothly but sometimes it does happen and I'll show you what to do then. Um, if you have trouble installing um, the software go back to the Greenfoot website. I'll just make that go away here. Um, and at the bottom of the downloads page, so I'm still here at the downloads page on the Greenfoot website, at the bottom of the downloads page is a support section. It says if you have problems contact our technical support. You can really do that. Uh, we have uh, some really enthusiastic good people working on our team. If you do this on the page it tells you a web page, uh, sorry, it tells you an email address, support at Greenfoot. That goes to our team and there are three guys sitting there, Devon and Neil and Phil, who are um, really good at answering all your questions and solving problems you may have. So if you have problems and you can't figure it out on your own, feel free to send us an email with this address, but pay attention to the instructions. We get a surprising number of emails just saying, you know, I had a problem installing what is wrong. Um, and if we get a question that is that vague, there's very little we can do and not very much help that we can offer. So there are two things you can do and you, you should do if you uh, mail us. One is describe exactly um, what you have done, 
how far you got and what the problem is that you're that you're encountering and then secondly attach this file there's a file called greenfoot debug log dot txt that is a file that allows us to get some detailed information what happened on your system and what went wrong um, this file is at different locations in on different operating systems. If you are on Windows, depending on the exact Windows version, you will find it at this path, either documents and setting, and then here is a directory with your username, backslash greenfoot, and there is the file. Or, depending on which Windows version you're running, on some Windows versions, newer versions, the path is this. So find this file, and attach this to your email message. On Linux, this is the path where you will find the file. On macOS, unfortunately, it has become a bit complicated. On macOS, um, this file was in a directory called library in the home directory. So if you open your home directory on macOS, there used to be a folder here called library. And just as of the latest update of macOS, the Lion update, um, that library folder is now hidden. It still exists, but it is not displayed anymore. So getting into this folder is a little bit more tricky. Now, if you are looking for that file on uh, macOS, go to your home directory, then select from the menu, go to folder, and type in library as your folder and go there and it will show you the library folder. And in that library folder you need to go to preferences and in preferences you need to find org.greenfoot. Go in that folder and here is greenfootdebuglog.txt. That is the file that you need to show us. If you send us this file with a description of your problem um, almost always we can figure out what's going on and we can help you. Okay, that is all there is to say about installing Java and Greenfoot. So get this done, get Greenfoot installed on your system, and you're ready to go when we kick off with the next installment of our tutorial, where we really start to do something. Okay, I hope I see you next time. Bye-bye. Um,